After spending two days at Luzira prisons, the six men convicted for the mismanagement of over four billion shillings in the Ministry of Local Government came to court expecting Lina sentence. Defense lawyers submitted asking for a Lina sentence in response to prosecution that on Tuesday asked for a maximum sentence on all the counts. The defense lawyers submitted asking for a Lina sentence from court on grounds that the convicts were first time offenders some of them had already reached the advanced age and they are also breadwinners for their families. And they also said that prosecution failed to prove that convicts had premeditated before committing the various crimes. Justice Catherine Bamgemere then adjourned court for 45 minutes. It was a tense moment for the convicts, their friends and relatives. Justice Bamgemere then sentenced former permanent secretary John Kashaka and principal accountant Henry Bamutura for 10 years in prison for causing a financial loss of over 4 billion shillings to government in the botched LC bicycle deal. Robert Mwebaze was also given 10 years. The judge was surprised he was not charged with causing financial loss, yet he was key in awarding the bicycle supply contract to a sham company. Mwebaze was convicted for abuse of office and neglect of duty. Former chairman of the local government ministry's evaluation committee, Omorot Erongot, was sentenced to 13 years for abuse of office and neglect of duty. The judge said he linked the fraudsters to the deal. Timothy Musheruri, who was a consultant in the ministry, walked away with three years and four months for failing to warn the errant evaluation team. The youngest among the convicts, Adam Bond Aluma, was sentenced to one year in nine months. He was found to have neglected his duty and not detected the fraud. <laughs> Justice Bamgemereiri quoted two experts on Asiatic countries, Professor Heidi Heimer and Michael Johnson, who argued that corruption multiplies where there is low risk of 